New at six, young people pepper sprayed, beaten, forced to sleep next to urine. They're examples of alleged abuse outlined in a lawsuit against the state's juvenile justice system. That lawsuit claims children across the state have been impacted, especially those with disabilities. 10 News reporter Krissa Lucas joins us now with the details on this lawsuit. Krissa? The lawsuit is against Tennessee. It's against the Department of Children's Services and the Department of Education. One of the plaintiffs is a nonprofit that works to protect the rights of people with disabilities. The lawyer I spoke with says children are being subjected to unbelievable abuse. A federal lawsuit against the state alleges young people, especially young people with disabilities, are mistreated and abused in the Tennessee juvenile justice system. Pepper sprayed by staff. And at times they go out of their way to make it more painful by shutting off water so they can't rinse off. According to the lawsuit, one plaintiff was attacked by peers who demanded that he perform sexual acts and beat him when he refused. When he told facility staff, they encouraged them to beat him again. Staff will incentivize other youth to attack other youth in the facilities by offering them cannabis vape pens or ramen noodles. The lawsuit says a 15-year-old boy slept on a bare bed frame near cockroaches, mold, and urine. The U.S. Constitution forbids all of the mistreatment that's going on in these facilities. The lawyer says if the state's not willing to settle and fix these issues, next step will be going to trial. We're very confident that, you know, all of this is going on and that will succeed in this case. This lawsuit has a purpose. We're not seeking money. We are seeking declaratory relief, which is the court saying all of this stuff that's happening is illegal. And then we're seeking injunctive relief, which will be procedures that are put in place to reform the system so that Tennessee starts taking care of its most vulnerable youth. Now, we reached out to the state agencies that are named in the lawsuit. DCS says they do not comment on pending or ongoing litigation. We also reached out to the attorney general, but we have not heard back yet. Robin. All right, Chris, thank you.